Numbers and place value. A digit is a single symbol used to make numerals. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are the ten digits we use in everyday numerals. We use these digits to form numbers. For example, the numeral 153 is made up of three digits, one, five, and three. Base 10 blocks, commonly known as place value blocks. These are a set of four different types of blocks that when used together can help you to see what a number looks like and understand its value. Let's take a look at our base 10 blocks. This block represents 1,000. This block represents 100. This block represents 10. And finally, this block represents 1. Let's take a look at the model on the screen. This model is representing a number. Look at the black X. Do you know what this block represents? If you said 1,000, you are correct. How many thousand blocks do you see? There is only one, so therefore we have 1,000. Take a look at the yellow X. Can you tell what those blocks represent? If you said it represents hundreds, you are correct. Can you identify how many hundred blocks are there? If you said four, you are correct. There are four hundreds. Before we move further, can you tell the digits that make up the numeral 1000 and the digits that make up the numeral 400? Yes, there are four digits that make up 1000. One, space, zero, zero, zero. There are three digits that make up 400. Four, zero, zero. Let's continue to take a look at our base 10 blocks. Look at this green X. Which of the base 10 blocks these represents? If you said it represents the tens, you are correct. How many groups of tens do you see? Three groups of tens. Can you tell the value of three groups of tens? Yes, the value of three groups of tens is 30. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Which base 10 blocks does the red X represent? If you said once, you are correct. How many ones do you see? Yes, there are nine ones. This model is representing the number 1,439. Place value to billions. This place value table shows the places from ones to billions. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, ten billions, hundred billions. 
ones, tens, hundreds are in the units. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands are in the thousands period. Millions, ten millions, hundred millions are in the millions period. Billions, ten billions, hundred billions are in the billions period. Let's take a look at this number. Can you read this number? Here is how to read this number. We read numbers from left to right. To read this number, read the billions first. The billions period is color coded in yellow. It reads 321 billion. Read the millions next. The millions period is color coded in green. It reads 154 million. Read the thousands next. The thousands period is color coded in aqua. It reads 217,000. Read the rest of the number. The units color coded in purple. 432. This number is 321,154,217,432. There are different ways to show a number. Standard form, expanded notation, word form, and short word form. Standard form. When writing a number in standard form, you will write the numbers only. Look at the chart on your right. The number at the bottom of that chart is already in standard form. 7,251,086,934. Example, write 987 in standard form. Remember, when you are writing the standard form, you write numbers only. So therefore, we're going to write the digit nine, the digit eight, and the digit seven. That will give us 987. Expanded notation. The expanded notation is writing a number to show the value of each digit. The number on the chart when written in expanded notation would look like this. 7 billion plus 200 million plus 50 million plus 1 million plus 80,000 plus 6,000 plus 900 plus 30 plus 4. Let's look at another example. Write 6,421 in expanded form. We are going to show the value of each digit, starting with the digit 6. 6,000 plus 400 plus 20 plus 1. When you are writing the word form, you write the words only. For example, the number at the bottom of the chart when written in words will look like this. 7,251,086,934. Let's do another example. Write 45,621,111 in word form. We will write 45 million, comma, 621,000, comma, 111. Short word form. 
When we write a number in short word form, we write the digits in numbers and the period in words. Take a look at the number at the bottom of the chart. Here is how to write that number in short word form. 7,251,086,934. Do not write units. Just leave your digits in the units period, but do not write the word units. Let's do another example. 553,678,122,768. Here is how to write that number in short word form. Notice. I wrote my digits in the billions period, which is 553. I wrote it as a number. Then I wrote my period in words, B-I-L-L-I-O-N. So short word form for that number is 553,678,122,768. Remember, you read the numbers from left to right in groups. When you write the numbers, you leave a space between each group of three digits.